listening uh, to Trucker Steve's first episode there. Tell you what, that blows my first episode away. Oh well. We all gotta start somewhere, right? Out here on the Pocahalla Highway, heading eastbound towards uh, Calgary. Got a hefty load on board, only 19 rolls of paper, but uh, nonetheless, pretty heavy. Couldn't tell you what it is in pounds, but uh, kilograms, it's uh, 28,000, almost 30,000 kilograms. So uh, it's probably around 60-ish, somewhere around there, 60, 70, I've been on this road for about four months, I guess, and as weird as it is to be back on it, just like old times, feels nice to be back up here. I got tired of doing the canyon. Carol, like I said, was a good company. I had no problems with the company, but uh, this is what I want. That open road. You know, once I uh, once I get kids involved in the picture, then uh, you know, no offense to my wife, obviously, but uh, it's probably going to end up being a different story because I'm not going to miss out for my life. You know, the wife can always come along in the truck. You know, kids not as easy. But it's been a pretty long day so far. It's uh, 4 p.m. I left the house at, uh, I think it was about 10 o'clock, about an hour and a half to the yard, and uh, I had to sit there, I had a flat tire on the trailer, so I had to go and get that fixed. I had to just kind of figure out a couple of things while I was there at the yard. You know, first load, so I to make sure I do everything right. And uh, so I went and fixed the tire, and I had to get going, of course, because this is a heavier load, it's taking a little bit of time getting going. And then I got into Chilliwack, fueled up, did the retorque on the tire so it's not going to fall off, or the theory is it should. And I've been going now, I guess, uh, about an hour or so, Chilliwack. I should make it into Golden. I'll probably be close to 11 hours, which is unusual. Usually, uh, usually I can get to almost into Calgary, but uh, it was uh, 100, almost 100 kilometers from the house to the yard. And in Canada, we can use a use a truck per, for personal use uh, to a maximum of 75 kilometers a day. So. With that, if it's under 75, you don't have to log it as on duty. But anything over that, you're going to have to. So I ended up logging the whole hour and a half or whatever it was. And uh, so yeah, you know, hours are going to be racked up here pretty soon. But as long as I can get into Golden in uh, normal weather, I mean we're coming into winter now, but it's not going to be that bad yet. Uh, shouldn't anyway. Golden is only about two, maybe three hours away from Calgary. And like I said, it's four o'clock on the 22nd. This load doesn't have to be there until the 23rd at their local time uh, of 11 o'clock p.m. Uh, it's 10 o'clock my time. O'clock, so. There it goes, an old company. Probably pulled that trailer a couple of times, actually, 780, yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Don't miss them, that's for sure. Uh, I guess I can lay in. So starting to pull the hill. This is where it's going to take a little bit of time, but uh, I guess because we're getting higher in elevation, it's starting to look a little better out. It's starting to look a little brighter anyway, it's not better necessarily just the first pull to the hill, but now for a little bit, don't gain much speed again, but uh, you get up here, you get going, you have a couple of years, and then, uh, then you pull the big hill.
the way it always goes. Let's go to Howl. You sit there and you drive and you drive and you drive up the hill and everything. Uh, it's raining and or snow. Now you get to the uh, toll booth. When you get to the toll booth, you start seeing the blue sky. And, well, the road dries out. There's some drivers that decide they like the uh, canyon, taking the number one street from uh, Kamloops there, all the way to Vancouver, or Vancouver up. There's other drivers that like doing the Coquihalla. I prefer the Coquihalla. Just because by the time you get up to the top here, you've got the flat area, you can do 110, you know. And, uh, it's not all up and down, at least this here you get the up. Take Coquihalla between Hope and uh, Kamloops there. There's only about three hills that you got to try to climb. And yeah, they are bigger, but at the same time, you're doing the canyon there, and you got to climb five or six different hills. And then on top of that, it takes you the same length of time from Hope to Kamloops on the number five does to get from Hope to uh, Nash Creek on the number one there through the uh, canyon. Then you got about another hour from Nash Creek into Kamloops. So I just prefer the Coquihalla. In the winter, if it's closed or something, then yeah, I might take the, uh, the number one. But, uh, you know, or maybe I'll want to meet up with my old buddy there, uh, Martin over at Arrow. If it's during the week, or, you know, I know that he's going to be within that area that I'm going to be. And I get myself a two-way radio, then I'll be able to talk to him. Other than that, Coquihalla is where it's, where it's at. The toll booth, $40. Actually, for this, I believe it's 50 because it's a, uh, a triatom. It's got three axles on the trailer. I do believe it's 50 bucks, but it's all taken care of by the company, so no skin off my nose. <laughs> 